Hello, how are you? I am Pushkar, master teacher in chemistry at Vedantu and I am discussing J Advanced 2020 chemistry paper. Let's start with this question, question number three, which belongs to the chapter Solid State. In this question, packing fraction of a given cubic structure is asked, but one atom is shown in the figure in such a manner that you could not figure it out whether it is present in square planar arrangement or in body centered void so the given options clearly gives us the idea that the packing fraction must be more than 0.52 and it should be less than 0.74 because of course it is not a closed pack so our answer should be 0.63 but can we do it and confirm that this is the correct option so let us see how to solve it in a perfect manner so this should be the structure in which y atoms are forming simple cubic packing and x atoms are present in square planar void. Square planar void means the ball is there in the greatest circle of the plane formed by four spheres. In a square planar void, the radius ratio is given by r plus upon r minus is equals to root 2 minus 1 which is equals to 0 0.414. In fact, it is similar to the octahedral void radius ratio. The only difference is in octahedral void, the particle or the cation touches six atoms, but here it is touching only the four atoms. So let's find out the, what, uh, the packing fraction in this case. So packing fraction in this case should be number of Y atoms, they are of course one, number of x atoms are 6 into half is equals to 3 so total volume occupied by x and y is equals to 4 by 3 pi r negative whole cube this is the volume occupied by the y plus thrice into 4 by 3 pi r positive whole cube this is the volume occupied by the cations and this divided by the total volume which is a cube but here a is equals to clearly 2 r minus so substituting this result in this expression packing fraction should be 4 by 3 pi r negative whole cube upon 8 r cube r negative whole cube and plus 3 into 4 by 3 into pi r positive upon r negative whole cube divided by 8 because in the denominator we have 8 r negative whole cube so simplifying this this quantity is simply pi by 6 and which corresponds to 0 0.52 and this quantity is now should be calculated and this is pi by 2 into 0 0.414 whole cube and this will come out to be 0 0.11 approximately and adding these two it will be 0 0.63 perfectly of course rounding off by some decimal places so by all standard very easy question stay tuned for the discussion of other questions thanks for watching